Hey guys, <clears throat> uh, I'm gonna revisit this washroom deal. <clears throat> I just measured the skid loader with the silage bucket on, is which is what I leave on him every night during the winter time. Um, that way, if there's any snow in the bucket, it melts off overnight. He's 11 feet long and six foot five inches tall. So, <clears throat> what I want to do is measure this in here and see if he would fit in here if I took that plywood off and put like a nine foot door in here I say nine foot because sheets of steel come in three foot wide sections um I could probably go eight foot too but anyways see if he would fit in here because I'd like to just move my heater in here and heat this little area park him in here and heat a lot less a lot less space not so that means I'd have to do some housework here but we have from there to out here where the door would be i'd have almost you know, 11 foot 8 inches so i'd have an extra 8 inches i could back them all the way up tight to this wall and have 8 inches in front of them um actually it'd probably be a little bit more because well it'd be about be pretty close what we got for height I know it'll fit in here because it's not much taller than I am we got six foot eleven and three quarter so he'll fit in here so what I'm thinking is I'm gonna put a nine foot door from that post I'm gonna set another post here at nine foot <clears throat> and then I'm gonna set two more posts along there <clears throat> and then finish that wall put shelves on there so I can move my stuff off of that top shelf in there and here stuff I want to keep warm um, <clears throat> And then I'm gonna move my big toolboxes in here. I'm gonna put them right here now. I'm gonna build a little shelf um, And it might it might just be a little bench then I want to hang all my wrenches in here So they're in here where it's always above freezing because I don't like my tools being where it gets above and below freezing all the time because then they tend to rust um, <clears throat> And then I want to move my desk and my file cabinet I want to put the desk right here in front of the window and the file cabinet right here um, And the toolbox like I say there Skid loader could sit right in here <clears throat> These shelves are going to get moved My heater up here. I'm going to mount right here So I can I'm going to put this door back in here like open the door and I can these will be on a hinge I can hinge it over here and blow heat out here if I want to or spin it back and I'll just blow the heat in here <clears throat> um, so he's gonna come down I'm gonna weld some hinges on him and I need to I'm gonna weld some tabs on there so my fan actually stays on there better it's just wired on there right now but I mount him right there I'm gonna take that wall back down <clears throat> that steel Plus I have a couple more sheets laying against the wall that steel is going to come down and it's going to go on the north side of my cow shed to block the wind from them and then it will also double once I get the north side built it'll double as a wall <clears throat> to keep my bedding all where it belongs um, in this shop or this area I'm, I'm going to probably park the combine in here and I don't know the swather maybe or something um, to make more room in the shed out there um, otherwise maybe I'll park the tractors in here I don't know yet but the boats gonna get finished here one of these days and get put away and then like I said I'm gonna take that down park a few things in here and who knows maybe I'll park the planter and the drill in here and then this winter if there's time or whatever I'm gonna order new disc openers and stuff for those and change them so maybe I'll park them in here <clears throat> but remove all the stuff that I that I'm, I'm planning on taking all this stuff off here and organizing it and shelves in there take all my wrenches that I have hanging here and build a board in there that they can all hang on um, <clears throat> I'm gonna move some stuff outside so basically the cement that's outside will be free that if I'm work you know if I break a sickle section or whatever I could drive it right in front of the service door and change it because a lot of times I don't even pull stuff in here to work on I work on right outside the door and a lot of times I park it over there 
<clears throat> and I go in out the small door all the time, so I might as well just make it so I can park on the cement over here. <clears throat> so the fuel barrel is going to get moved. Um, that way that area is free. But then if I ever have to, I can work on stuff in here. <clears throat> um, so all this stuff is going to get organized in there. The idea is instead of heating 1,350 square feet, I'm going to heat 288 square feet. Um, and then eventually, <clears throat> hopefully next year, what I can do is, this is 12 by 24. I want to extend it out to match the lean-to. That's 16 feet out. <clears throat> so that'll push this out another 4 feet. But then I want to get new steel so it matches the other roof lines so I don't have snow that builds up here all winter long um, and then this I don't know this is all just screwed together so it would be really easy to take this down and then raise it up another foot or two and then all the way over and then I just pull like that post is gonna stay there because it's on that wall this post would come out this post would come out <clears throat> and then the post that I'm gonna set here would come out and then basically I would just move them down move them over the four feet um, so that's kind of my thinking, but I'm happy that right now the skid loader will fit in here because I'm probably going to go get the materials to build the door in here quick. Um, this sheet will come off, it'll get trimmed down, it'll get put over there, insulated, finish that wall, insulate it. Because even if I raise this roof and everything, that's still going to stay there. Um, it's just I'm going to have to add on on top of it. So, <clears throat> and... You know, who knows? Maybe I won't even raise the roof. Maybe if I move everything over, I'll just support this and tie it in together somehow. I don't know. Um, like this post could probably stay here because this post is center. And then just tie off of here. This this post would support everything. Um, I don't know for sure, but that's kind of the plan. And the other plan is I'm going to get rid of that wash vat and then buy a smaller utility sink that takes up less space here. Um, those shelves are going to get moved. So, as you can see, I haven't got any farther on this cleaning this because I've been cutting firewood like crazy here lately. Uh, dropping trees for firewood, cutting brush, trying to clear back field edges. So, um, the edges of the field don't have the, the shade tree syndrome, whatever the heck it is. So, and this is where all my water and everything comes in. So, it'd be nice, you know, for it to be warmer in here. Um, but anyways, that's the plan. Put this door back on and get this done. <clears throat> um, I cut trees down all day this morning from 8 o'clock until 3.30. I got in the house at 3.30 and about 10 minutes later, we got an inch of rain in an hour. Um, I don't know what the weather is supposed to be like tomorrow. I heard rain now. I heard it's supposed to get clearing. So if it clears, I'm going to be cutting more trees. So this is kind of going to be a rainy day project. Um, and obviously tomorrow is Saturday, so I can't. I'm not going to be able to get building materials, but I think next week I'm going to run downtown, get the materials to build that door. <clears throat> so that's ready for the skid loader. Um, and actually the skid loader is probably going to be a little bit shorter because he's got the tracks on him right now. And he probably sits two inches taller with the tracks on him. So that's what I'm thinking. What do you guys think? Um, uh, my whole purpose of this is I'm going to be using less firewood if I heat that little area. I can have all my tools in there. Like right now, <clears throat> in the winter time, on an average day, I don't heat the shop at night. Um, I come out at 10 o'clock at night, I load the wood stove, pack it to the gills. I turn the heat off out here, which normally is shut off before then anyways. But heat still radiates out of here. And these ceiling fans create a draft or you know airflow. That helps pull heat out of there. And normally... It, on most nights, it hangs around 30, 32 degrees in here just by what radiates off there on its own. So I'm hoping that by that being in a small area, um, I'm probably just going to find a little fan just to circulate air in there all the time. Um, I'm hoping that in there, it'll keep it closer to 40 at night without the fan running, um, which would be awesome because if it keeps it at 40 in there all the time, that's about what I can get this up to when the fan is running. On a good day, I can get up to 45, maybe 50 in here. But otherwise, that's a challenge. Um, and there's R30, 38 to 40 up above. It really should be an R50. But I don't want to stick any more money into this area <clears throat> because eventually 
this wall is going to come down. This is all going to be one big machine shed because our garage is starting to fall apart. And the idea is when we build a new garage, we're going to set it up so the shop is in the garage and they kind of share the area. Um, so that's kind of the plan, but who knows? I'm going to take that steel down, this steel that isn't, doesn't fit in here anyways, and use that on the cattle shed. Um, I am going to get steel to finish the rest of my wall in the machine shed part and that back door so the shed is all closed. Um, because I've even kicked around the idea of just taking this whole wall down. Um, <clears throat> leaving the ceiling in here obviously. But then that would give me more room to park equipment. And then just leave this area open in front of the door here. And then that way if I got to work on something, I can pull it in here and work on it. I don't ever really work on much in the wintertime anyway, so it's not like I really need a big heated shop. But if I ever had anything that I had to work on in the wintertime, I'd just go buy a couple tarps and hang tarps down and heat this little area with a torpedo heater and that. Um, normally if you're working on something like that, you're only, you know, just heat it while you're working on it and then whatever. So that's kind of the idea with what I got going on here. Um, there's a lot of wasted space in here. Um, ultimately, I really like the idea of just finishing the whole machine shed off and then taking this wall down. And then if I ever need to work on anything in the wintertime, hanging the tarps down, just heating a little area. Um, <clears throat> that's what I've done in the past. That's why the 2x4s are up there because I always hung a tarp down and only heated the 24x30 instead of the 45x30. Um, it make, made a huge difference, but it's still hard to heat even that. So, and I really don't want to stick much money into this. Um, so really all I need is a heated area big enough for the skid loader and to keep all the stuff in there that I don't want to freeze in the winter time. So I'm thinking just get that done the way I want it. Clear that cement off on the outside. I could have a pad to work on stuff outside in the summer. Um, because normally the stuff in the summer is you need to do a quick weld or whatever. You don't need to back something inside. A lot of times you just roll the welder to the door and work on whatever. Or if I got to, you know, change the bearing or whatever, I don't always back inside. I just pull out the door and I do it right outside the door so I could have the area right out there. But, but if you need an area, this would still be here. Um, even if I did park stuff here, I could move something to have the area to work on something. Or if something breaks, you want to work on a rainy day park in here and it'd be inside. But... I don't work on stuff a lot in the wintertime anyways, so it, you know, it is what it is. It'd be nice just to have it all opened up and room for parking stuff. Um, the plan is to finish the rest of the shed anyways. It's just, it's never happened. But if I tear this wall down, it's definitely going to happen then. So anyways, that's kind of what I got going on. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Um, biggest thing is <clears throat> try and save firewood in the winter time um <clears throat> like i say i load that wood stove 10 o'clock at night <clears throat> and by 7 30 in the morning it is empty like some mornings you gotta fight to get the fire started again empty so i'm kind of hoping if i do that you know i come out at 7 30 in the morning there's still a quarter load of wood and they're not empty um it's no fun cutting firewood all winter long i'll tell you that um <clears throat> but i'm not gonna buy lp either I have LP back up in the house, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to heat this area with LP. You know, I consider heating that small area with LP, but <clears throat> I have all this fire, all this wood that why, why buy LP when I have all this free wood? I'm paying taxes on the land. I can't graze trees. So by cutting the trees for firewood, I'm opening up area, getting grass to grow and I'm getting, I'm heating the building at the same time. In the back clear cutting, in 10 years, I'm going to have to do the same thing back there I'm doing up here because that them trees back there are growing like weeds. So I don't think I'm ever going to run out of firewood. And if I make a smaller area, that's just going to make my wood supply out there last even longer. Um, and why heat a big area if you don't really use it anyways? I can't tell you the last time I really worked on a big project in the winter. It's been many, many years. Um, so... You know, normally it's, you, if you got to work on stuff, you bring it in before you're going to use it. Say you're going to plant corn, normally bring the camp, corn planter in a week or two before you're going to plant. You go through it. You know, you got to service it anyway, so normally do everything right before you need it. 
and I don't really plant corn or anything else in the winter time so I don't really need a big heated area to work on that stuff so um, <clears throat> but if I leave the ceiling even if I tear the wall down you know 